uh, there's nothing digital, these are all analog. So first thing first for most of these, you just pull this straight out. So I'm gonna go ahead and just pull this straight out. And this is its own special gauge. This does not um, connect to anything on the back end with this electronic portion, so you're okay there. And so, okay, and then um, how we have here, and I've got a flashlight, so I'll try and show this, but what happens is there's a spring underneath this gauge that's specially designed to measure temperature. As it warms up, it leans one way to the right, or as it cools down, it may lean to the left. And as it does that, this, if you can see very closely, if you can see very closely now as I move it to the right, that is mercury, and mercury is liquid at um, very cold temperatures and very warm temperatures, which is exactly why you might want to use mercury. But more importantly, it is metallic, so it can conduct electricity all day long in the very cold or the very warm, which is why it, mercury is being used. So an important aspect of this, of course, is, is mercury is inside a sealed bulb, but as you can see, it practically has a fur coat over it. There's a whole bunch of dust. So we want to clean that off. And there's a bunch of dust on the wires and a little bit on the spring back there. So I'm going to use some wet wipes and carefully clean it off. But I do want to show you something cool and something you need to be careful. This spring is temperature sensitive. And as this spring um, heats up, it contracts. As it cools, it expands. So you want to be careful. So I'm going to breathe on it and kind of show you what that looks like. And you should see a hint of this moving forward or back. I don't know if you were able to see that. Uh, if you weren't, let me try cooling it because it is pretty hot in here. This fur coat may have something to do with it as well. Um, so let me fix the lighting and see if I can uh, cool it off this time. All right, that you could, you should have definitely been able to see as it's cooling off. I'm just blowing um, room temperature air. It's moving to the left. And as I was heating it up, it moves a little bit to the right. And that's how this works. So when you set your switch, you're really setting the apex uh, right in the center, basically, of where this should turn on or off. So um, now that you know a little bit about how it works, we're just going to go ahead and take a quick clean. I just have some wet wipes here. Be very careful with these wires. They're um, absolutely old and you don't want to pull on these any more than necessary. So as you can see, I'm just very carefully going along this wire and cleaning it off. Now, it's important to clean these wires precisely because um, this dust acts like a fur coat in the winter and in the summer. So what that means is you might heat it up to 70, but if it's thick and disgusting like this is, it might actually turn off before your room is 70 degrees Fahrenheit because it's got this icky fur coat all over it. And then we want to just clean this guy off too. Just tap it. Um, do not spray water. Do not use any other liquid water or these wet wipes that I have here is absolutely sufficient. So just hold that. Clean the rest of this dust out if absolutely possible. And you can see some of that falling. Get rid of all this dust here. So that way when you register 70 degrees or you know 15 degrees Celsius, if that's where you want to, if, um, it actually is reading that temperature. So we'll clean this off a little bit. Okay, and I think that's it. So now you can probably see, now that we removed that icky fur coat, that the, um, that the um, mercury is much clearer now because we've removed all that icky stuff. So you can see that move left 
and to the right. And as it does that, it triggers and it short circuits these two wires and turns it on or off, depending on how, where we tell it to adjust this from. As far as the springs, my recommendation would be just carefully go around, just carefully go around and clean these, this spring. Um, do not pull it out, do not stretch it out because this is very sensitive and if you pull or stretch this spring out it will absolutely affect um, the performance and you may actually even break it. So just do a careful wipe and I would say that's it. And now that I have it clean I do want to try one more time uh, blowing on this and seeing if you can see this move. Alright, let's see if I can get a little bit closer. Yay, I think that's not moved. Anyway, good luck. Make sure you clean this, uh, this front plate off. I think this just needs a good wipe. Make sure there isn't anything in here that uh, can get jammed in there. And throwing my glasses back on. Go ahead and put this right side up. And let's set it to where we want. So, can you see me? All right, so um, again, we just went ahead and quickly cleaned this. So, you know, every winter, make sure that this is nice and clean. Be very careful on those wires. They're fragile. So, you know, you hold one in and carefully clean it off. Just dab um, that cylinder that has the mercury. You don't want to break it. Um, you don't want to mess that spring, so don't pull on it. Otherwise, you have yourself a great day, and thank you for watching.